Hey YouTube, welcome back. I'm Cindy with CNC Treasures and this is my crafting channel. Um, I have you all already down on my surface because this is just gonna be a real quick video. I'm not paint pouring tonight. I'm actually going to work on some terracotta pots that I'm going to use at my desk for pens and pencils and paper clips and binder clips. So if you see here, this is just a terracotta pot. You can get these anywhere. I got this one from Michael's. It was like $1.50 or $2 or something like that, really inexpensive. And I've painted the lip of it. Um, what color is this? It is deep olive green. Now, the paint that I used is just a little craft paint and you can get this paint, this little craft paint. You don't need anything expensive. Uh, you can get this at any of the craft stores, and this was like a dollar forty nine or a dollar sixty nine. So I painted the lip olive green. The first one I did, I painted the body of it white, and on the next one I did, I thought, let me try it without painting it white to see what would happen. That didn't turn out so well. So if you want to do this technique you may want to go ahead and paint the color uh, the bottom of the pot as well so that the terracotta color doesn't come through. I'm going to show you. This is the one that I did and did not paint it white. And I don't know if you can see it, but the terracotta is coming through right here. So I think it would have been better, but I'm not going to redo it. It's just going to have to be what it is because it's only going on my desk. So first, you take this terracotta pot, you paint it, let it dry. It's just acrylic paint. The acrylic paint uh, dries. It doesn't take long at all. If you wait an hour or two, it should be dry. And then um, I'm going to just put Mod Podge on here. So let me show you what it looks like. I just put the br brush up under the lip and stroke down. What I'm gonna do this time, since I didn't paint this one white and I wanted to go ahead and get the um, video up, I'm going to keep the napkin layered and I'll show you what I mean in just a second. The napkin is not gonna go all the way around so I'm gonna try to get enough Mod Podge on here for the piece I'm using. Just find a pretty napkin, um, something that you like the print, and use that. So I took this napkin. Um, you see this, this print, really pretty. The first time I did it, I tore the white backing away from the napkin. You know how it comes in two layers. This time I'm going to leave the white backing on and see if that prevents the terracotta from coming through. So all I did was just, let me see which way I want these flowers to go. I laid it up against the lip, right up there, and then just worked my way around and down like that. And you know, because this vase curves and this napkin is flat, you are gonna have some wrinkles. So you can do one of two things. You can keep working on it and pulling it to straighten it, or you can leave the wrinkles and um, call it intentional, <laughs> which is what I'm gonna do. I don't mind the wrinkles in there. They don't look bad. So you see here, I didn't get enough Mod Podge over here, so I'll put some more down. and I used the Mod Podge to make it stick all the way around. Ooh, I didn't get nearly enough over here, so let's try this. This is a real simple process 
and it um, turns out really pretty. So I'm just gonna lay it and let the wrinkles fall where they may, okay? So then I'll take another piece that I cut, one of these pieces here, and Mod Podge it on here to close that gap. I don't mind them overlapping and the flowers not uh, lining up. Like I say, it just looks like, it'll just look like a bunch of flowers. And that's the look that I'm going for. I don't want it to look like a napkin, so to speak. Now what I'm going to do with this part, you know when you wet a napkin, it'll just tear. So I'm gonna go around and wet it and just tear it off. But I'm not gonna do that yet. I'm going to show you. Um, you saw this vase. This is what it looks like when you get it all on. And there's a part over here I haven't Mod Podged. Um, because I didn't paint it white, you can see the terracotta but you also see some of the Mod Podge coming through. But this is not fully Mod Podge, so I'm going to Mod Podge it. After you put the napkin on, then you want to put Mod Podge on top so that you have a shine to it. So I'm gonna do that all the way around. When I set these on my desk, I'll just turn the part where the terracotta shows through around so nobody can see it coming in my office. I did try one, the first one I did, I covered it in that pearl Mod Podge. I don't know if you've ever seen that um, because I had to order it online. I was ordering it for something else. And I thought the pot would be really pretty with the pearl on top. Well, after I put the pearl Mod Podge on top, you could no longer see my flower. It just looked like a pearl covering. And so I soaked it off and that's the good thing. I put it down in a bowl of water. I didn't put anything in the water. I just let it sit. Um, I stood it up. And then in a little while, the Mod Podge loosened up and I was able to just pull the napkin off of it and start over again. So now this is covered and it'll look like, you know what Mod Podge looks like when it dries. It'll look a little glazed. And I didn't get all of that bottom off, but you see I got most of it off, I'll take the rest off later. And then I turned it upside down so that this doesn't stick to the surface. And when you get done, this is the one that I painted white, this is what it'll look like. Isn't that cute? So I painted the lip green, I painted the body white, I Mod Podged it, laid the napkin on it, let it dry for a couple of hours, and then put Mod Podge back out on the outside of the napkin and um, it looks like it was made like this, right? Beautiful. I did decide to go ahead and paint the inside of the pot only because when I painted up around here, it was all uneven on the inside. My sister came over and put some tape in and I was supposed to just paint around the top of the paint. I made that a disaster. So I decided since my little ball of paint was only $1.50, I'd go ahead and paint the inside. But this is the end product, and this is what they'll look like. These two will look like when they're done. I'm going to come back after um, I make the painting. I'm going to do a triptych, you know, the three canvas, three piece canvas set. I'm going to do a triptych that has some of these colors in it to hang on my wall in my office. So once I get that painting done, I'll come back and show you the painting with the. Uh, pencil and paper clip holders so you can see how they go together. Uh, if you haven't hit the subscribe button, make sure you subscribe so every time I upload new content, you'll be notified. And I want to thank you for stopping by. I want to thank you for supporting my channel. Ask your friends to stop by and look at my videos and support it too. 
Uh, have a good evening and I'll see you in my next video. Good night.